Hello and welcome to another AIC video. So this is going to be a pretty informal one. Um, that didn't do a whole lot of setup because what I'm doing is repairing this laptop. So I did a video a little while back about um, a laptop I got set up for my son, compact um, laptop, and he's really enjoyed it. Got it for his birthday and he couldn't be happier. He's been using um, R uh, RPG Maker to make his own games playing those with his friends, super stoked about it. My daughter, who's turning 10 here in a few weeks, has also enjoyed her brother's computer and wants one of her own. And so I bought this and I got a pretty good deal on it. I think I paid like 45, 50 bucks for it. Uh, and it works great except for one thing and that's the screen. And I don't know if you can tell this through my camera, but that screen has some burn in. Like right here and also the backlight is like you can see it's almost like a gradient here like this is almost white and on my screen it's kind of like purpley up here it's kind of a purple black like its color scheme is way off and that's it's not very good because I want she wants to learn how to edit some videos I'm gonna throw Windows Movie Maker on here um, R RPG Maker a few other things on here so that she can learn how, some basics of computing it was just um, like Word and uh, Excel, PowerPoint, that sort of stuff. So that they can learn um, some basics, kind of get used to it. This will not have internet access on it for two reasons. One, I'm not going to give my kids unfettered access to the internet. And two, it's running Windows XP. They'll get a virus faster than, <laughs> than anything. Plus, it just isn't very fast and it isn't fast for modern um, internet computing, but it's perfect for what she's going to be doing. So I went on the internet and I found this which is a replacement screen is about it's like five dollars with like fifteen dollars in shipping so i think i paid 20 bucks so all in all i'm in this computer less than 80 dollars i think total with shipping and for the device which is way less than what i paid for my son's compact so should pretty good deal i think there if this works the way it's supposed to it's supposedly it's a used screen but it's supposed to be good and i'm very lucky and fortunate that um i fix it has uh, a repair right on their website for this exact model uh, sony vio pcg f 420 and then i have my non ifixit toolkit because i couldn't afford the ifixit uh, ifixit sponsored me and sent me a toolkit anyways we're gonna start digging into this and i'll give you a little updates as we go along see if the instructions are any good All right, so on the iFixit instructions, uh, it, it really great instructions until we hit steps 14 and 15. So 14 tells you to remove four gold screws from around here. 15 tells you to remove um, this here, which mine comes with a replacement. Wait. Uh, but what it doesn't tell you is to remove this. Like it completely ignores that this exists. Like there's kind of a picture like with a red circle around it, but it's like missing a whole chunk of instruction. So to remove it, you have to pop this cover off. It's like this one on this hinge over here. And then it looks like there's a screw right here and two screws down there. I'm gonna remove those and try to lift it out and see. Um, now, fortunately, like I said, I do have a replacement here. Uh, and it looks like it's fairly complete. So not a whole lot for me to do as far as, you know, unplugging, because it talks about unplugging this, which I don't need to do, obviously. So um, let me get on to that point. All right, so there were actually four screws that we need to remove. These two down here that held this ribbon into place, then the one that was here, and then I didn't notice it before, but this little guy that was right here, this goes over that nub. And then when you go to fold the screen away, oh, oh, oh. Oh, sorry, hard to do one handed. Uh, this was taped down pretty good. So I had to be very careful. Um, I ended up actually just cutting this on the sides uh, here because this tape wasn't coming up like there. There's this is that tape that has like little strings in it. I don't know if that's a special name, uh, but the tape itself was coming up, but the strings weren't. So it's going to be a problem there. 
Uh, one thing, this is a sharp, and this is a high touchy. So I don't know uh, quality wise what the difference is going to be. Um, so far, everything looks same, same. I guess we will find out here in a moment. Ooh, I'm seeing one problem though. This does not have the same screw placement. So that might be a problem. Because otherwise it looks very much the same. See along here, we don't have that there. But we will figure that out here in just a second. It says it's the same from the same computer from the ad. So everything else looks the same, but we will see. Well, crap. They're not the same size greens. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure what to do now, but we will uh, press on and see what I can figure out. So you may never see this video. Well, we will cross that bridge when we get to it. All right, so um, I made the mistake and ordered the wrong part. I've ordered a replacement part that's correct. But while I'm in here, I'm actually gonna pop out the hard drive and I'm gonna put an SSD in there. I'm gonna pop off, I believe this is the CPU cooler here, and we're gonna repaste it. I'm, I'm in here anyways, there was a dust bunny, I pulled that out. Uh, might as well take care of a few other things uh, since I'm here and it's late and I have it open. So I wanted to go ahead and finish up this video series. I apologize, my office is a little bit of a mess, but I realized I never finished following up on the replacement of the screen. Uh, so the first screen when I bought it took like two days to get to me. The second screen took like a full week and a half. I installed it and was immediately disappointed by the replacement of the screen. You can see it doesn't have the burn in that the previous one had, but it has like a ding here that there's like, I don't feel anything, but you can see where like a bright spot on the screen where it might've been hit. And it's still this purpley color, very unhappy with the quality of the screen, even the replacement screen. So it works, it just looks like crap especially for somebody who wants to do like picture and video editing like my daughter wants to do. Overall, I really like the machine. It has a really nice keyboard. The touchpad works really good. Um, it has a 435 megahertz processor, something like that. Uh, so it's not a bad performer for an, you know, an old Pentium 3 laptop, uh, but it just, the screen's not good enough. And so what I did is I went ahead and bought another one. This is a Gateway Solo 5300, I believe. And look at the screen. You can see just the difference in screens. Uh, now this has a 700 megahertz Pentium 3. It has 256 uh, megabytes. I said gigabytes. 256 megabytes of RAM in it. Um, they both are running an SSD in them now. Um, I'm actually gonna put the original hard drive back in here. Uh, install Windows XP, throw, throw it up on eBay. Um, Maybe somebody will be happier with it than I will. I just don't need that many old computers. I, ha I have way too many. Um, so this is the one that my daughter is going to get for her birthday. It's in another couple of weeks from now. I, I did get a jump on it and I'm glad that I did. So that way I could buy the right system for her. And I think that this that's what this one will be is the correct system for her. So screen replacement as far as it goes on. Um, I fix it pretty good right up until the end. I cover that in the previous sections of this video, but in the end, this is not a great screen. Fairly disappointed in that. Um, and hopefully somebody else will find more joy in this computer than I will. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, leave those down in the comment section below. I know this is a quick wrap up. It has been literally a month since I've looked at this system. It's just been sitting there um, with my emotional defeat stamped all over it. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.